All right, uh, time for sports, and Myra's here with that. Bye. MVP Wednesday, Hudson. Vancouver Island produces more than its share of world champions, and a Langford teen may be the next name on the list. Josh Van Meers is headed for Sparta, Greece, for the world championships in the world's most ancient mixed martial art. Jordan Cunningham introduces us to this week's Island MVP. As the theory goes, it takes 10,000 hours to truly achieve success in your field. If that's true, then Josh Van Muers is already an expert. He trains 25 hours a week and savors every last minute. Every single one of them, I'm just hopping in with, the, with friends. They're, they're teaching me, I'm teaching them. Everyone's having fun. I'm getting submitted, but it's all, all out of respect. His discipline is pancreation a fighting style perfected by the ancient Greeks. 3,000 years later, Josh is giving it his own spin. Pancreation fighting is definitely the oldest form of, of fighting sports. It started with the gladiators and hopping into a cage, into an arena, and that's more or less what I'm going to do. A victory in Vegas last spring made him North American pancreation champion, so now it's off to the cradle of combat sports, Sparta, Greece, to fight for a world championship. No fights are going to be easy at the Worlds. This is, this is the best from every country. We're going to arrive in Athens and we're going to go three and a half hours on a bus down to, to Sparta, so that should be interesting. I put him in judo at six and originally I just, you know, wanted to have peace of mind knowing my kid was, you know, could take care of himself. He's gone well beyond that now, so, um, you know, I'm really happy for him in that way. His mixed martial arts training happens at Zuma in Victoria, but he stays grounded twice a week at Victoria Judo Club. Well, judo is my base for, for when I hop into the cage. It makes people incredibly strong on their core, which would translate well into pancreation or even MMA. A lot of successful MMA people are, have their roots in judo. Josh Van Muir's focus and finish make him this week's Island MVP. Josh is a French immersion student at Belmont Secondary and hopes to study economics at the University of Calgary. All these hours on the mat have made him ultra fit and the high school records at Belmont have started to fall. I got the school record right now for the beep test and the 1,500 meter run. So a career in track wouldn't be out of the question, but it's Josh's nature not to run, but to stay and fight. Jordan Cunningham, CTV Sports, Victoria. Nicely done, Jordan. Well, we know there are a lot of other sports superstars on the island, and we would love to tell those amazing stories. So please email us at islandmvp at ctv.ca and nominate your MVP. Be sure to watch every day and, of course, on Wednesdays as we profile our island's top talent. Well, the Vikes men's soccer team won it last year at home. This time, it is the ladies' turn. The CIS National Soccer Championships kick off tomorrow afternoon at UVic Centennial Stadium. Tracy David's squad was built for a run at the title. Three wins is what it will take. And crisp, cold conditions at practice last night as the Vikes prepared for their CIS Nationals. All eight teams have arrived on the island as the defending champs from Queens look for an unprecedented third straight title. Dalhousie, Cape Breton, Ottawa, Sherbrooke and Trinity Western are also here. The Vikes drew Sherbrooke in their tournament opener at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Jordan Cunningham will fire the tough questions at Coach David. The Vikes will be national champions if. We have to take care of the business. <laughs> we have to take care of the business. You know, if we can take care of the business, and as I mentioned already, you have to be strong defensively. You have to get the bounces a little bit. You have to be tough. You have to be aggressive. Everyone's just so antsy, and it's hard to focus on schoolwork. There's some midterms this week, and everyone just wants to get it going. You're talking about the good antsy, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> the great antsy. <laughs> Well, the Vikes have all the tools to win the national title. Midfielder Jacqueline Savitsky brings junior national team experience. Second-year striker Emma Grieg scored 14 goals this season to lead Canada West. And fifth-year keeper Stephanie Parker did her job keeping the ball out and was the number two goalie in the conference. The final weekend of Steph's CIS career will be played in front of friends and family. I think it's going to be really exciting playing in front of a home crowd. I know there are a lot of people uh, coming and a lot of people said that they're excited 
to watch us play. Having a home advantage is always good for us. We know our pitch, we know our fans, we know everything to do with the city, so hopefully everything will come together. we got to be good on the day. Uh, very, very important, very important that we're defensively sound, of course, and, uh, and you, you always, uh, on the big day, you always have, a, have to have a little luck. The Victoria Royals could use a little luck tonight in Lethbridge. They are riding a four-game losing skid into their game with the Hurricanes. The home team, on the other hand, has been rolling. The Canes have only lost once in their last five games, and that loss was a shootout loss. Jordan will have all the highlights tonight for us at 11. The NHL and the NHL Players Association talked late into the night last night, and the two sides were back at the negotiating tables this afternoon. Once again, the meetings were held at an undisclosed location far away from us media types. Both sides are remaining tight-lipped about today's session, but expected to talk again tomorrow. The ongoing discussions even have players hopeful that progress is being made. I think it's always a positive sign when the two sides are sitting down for a lengthy period of time and hopefully negotiating. So. Um, I think it's, uh, as I said, I'm cautiously optimistic. What well, is a small consolation for coming up short of an appearance in this weekend's Canadian Bowl, but at least some of our Vancouver Island football stars were singled out by the Canadian Junior Football League. West Shore Rebels running back Greg Morris and punter Quinn Van Gelswick were named top offensive Canadians, as were VI Raiders receiver Winston Tamuziak and O-lineman Tyler Oldendorf. And for leading the league in completions, yards, and touchdowns, Jordan Yance was named the CJFL's top quarterback. Good for him. Andrew Harris snubbed as uh, the can top Canadian coming out of the West. So too How bad. does that happen? I have how no idea. So <laughs> how does it happen? He's understand. still our favorite Canadian. I just Canadian. don't get it. All right. These things happen. Yeah. My thank you. You're welcome.